I brought my pencil. Give me something to write on. That was it. Oh boy. Hey, it did, it did the work though, didn't it? Uh -huh. Good job. Thank you, Little Dry. So, first step is to measure the two transmissions. And make sure that they're the same length from bell housing to tail shaft, and we don't have a tape measure. What kind of shop are we running here, anyway? Oh, we can find something. I bet we got a piece of string, or, you know, I mean. Do some sort of redneck measurement here. A weed eater line, that's good. That's close. This is pathetic. Swapping a motor on a car and we don't have a tape measure. We're going to try to look at the cases. I don't really know where the markings are on the transmission cases. Three, 33, uh, 111. So 33, 111, 2, uh, 20,080. So 33111, 33111, 20,080, 33111, 20,080. Bunch of threes, bunch of elevens, some, some ones and zeros and 80. 3311, 33111, 20,090. Um, I know the one that's on the 18RG came from a motorhome. Okay, the, the big problem. Right now, I'm not worried about measuring the length of the transmissions. I'm sure that they're going to meet up. And if they don't, if it's not the same length and I end up having to make the drive shaft different, then uh, we won't do that. We'll take the old transmission off of the 18RC and swap it over onto the 18RG instead. But I don't think we'll have to do that. I think they're pretty much the same. Uh, oh my God, okay. I guess that's a thing. I mean, this does have to hold up the engine, you know, so we got to have threads in there for sure. Possibly. No, no, this is definitely rock solid. There's no way this is coming off. If this rips out, you can recall. Yep, it's all me. <laughs> it's all on me if this doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. I do not like it. Oh, my knee is very, very angry with me. I'm gonna watch everything I got. I'm just gonna stay low. I'm gonna keep staying low. I'm low. I'm still low. Am I good? Am I clear? Oop. Oh, I really don't trust that. No, it's tilting too much backwards to for that. Oh, I'm just gonna get her up as far as I can, so I can try to get that tail off the ground. But I feel like we gotta. We're gonna have to jack it from way further back. Let's just get her out here. Just jack it way up. And we'll. Uh, I feel like. Well, I'm not trying to put anything in a car yet. I'm just trying to get it to a point where I can walk around it. You know, it kind of looks like a new clutch. It looks like a relatively new pressure plate up there, but it's hard to see. And then, uh... You know, that just moves. Uh, okay, well, uh, I'm going to look through my email. We did a thorough inspection of both old photographs and emails to determine whether or not there's a good clutch in this motor. And the, uh, the results of that thorough investigation are we don't, know, we don't have a clue. We got no idea. The miles measured, they both, they're both the same length, roughly. So the drive shaft should fit. That's great. Whether the clutch will, you know, like work, hold power, you know, do do anything appropriate. Whether the flywheel's good, no idea. But we're gonna put it in there and you know send it and then see what happens. I have to trust myself from like four years ago, four or five years ago, and assume that I was getting ready to run this motor at the time. And um, uh, uh, I don't trust myself. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was yep. a little bit. <laughs> Victory ain't coming easy, but we're getting somewhere. I 
like the idea of putting a bolt in this thing, which is probably what we should have done to begin with, but just bolt through the chain, you know? This might not fit through the chain, though. Through the small chain. Oh, it does, just barely. Okay, so we want it far enough forward, once again, so we can balance out that transmission. Does this seem like a good idea to everybody? I think so. Okay. I just don't want to hassle with that damn hook anymore, you know? It's scary. Right. Spin right into the car. Yeah, just go right in there. Why don't you? We're going to call that good enough. Back up some. Jeez. Right in my face. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Yet. Motor, car, car, motor. Yeah, I mean, it's not going too far, I guess. And it's just turning right into the car, isn't it? Is that it? Yeah. I feel like that's got it. If we spin her on it, mm -hmm. be careful with the spinning. Yeah, that's going to be easy. Watch that car. Yeah. I need to pull back. Easy. It's okay. We're just, going, we're just going slow. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, yeah. can, uh, go ahead and turn that. I'm not too afraid of that. That's good. Okay. You're the direction, man. You gotta keep your pointing <laughs> kind of the right way. Not easy. I'm gonna end up in this track right here. Oh, oh. it's all right. It's all right. fun. Just a little's not gonna hurt anything. It's fine. Okay, we gotta come down now. Just let her slide on down there. Slide on down, nice. I don't know what I can do. Push your push uh, push it with your foot. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Good job. Oh yeah. Alright, good job. Hold on a second. <laughs> We're missing something. What are we missing? Well, the motor mount on oh, that side is good to go. And the motor mount on this side is not good to go. <laughs> See this? Yeah, we're so we're missing take it off the old one. Yeah, we gotta take it off the old one. Oh no, it went easy. Yeah. It's almost like it's been heated up and cooled down a thousand times. Luckily this one's only hanging on by one bolt and it's probably real loose. Yeah. These motor mounts are kind of in question because they're real old. And um Nobody makes new ones. I won't say nobody. Maybe Toyhead Auto has some. So it'd be beneficial if this motor comes out again in the future that we uh, swap it. Boy, our passenger side is going to be solid. And the driver's side is going to be solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah, that's how she goes. Yeah, that's not exactly what you want. Hopefully when we get it running, it doesn't try to shake itself out of the car. Oh. But you know what? That motor mount worked fine with the original motor. So it should be okay. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna bring her down some. Yeah. Easy. Nice and slow. All right, well, you might be uh, the bell on that steering rod. Yeah, the bell housing's not gonna clear it. Yeah. Unless we push it up. Okay, so we do need to get it in further first. Yes. Before we come all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from right there. Let's see what we get. Is it moving at all? No, it's it's, it's where's it's smashed it's against the firewall. The oh, look at this. Not the firewall. Uh, it's the old throttle linkage. <laughs> that was it. Just Can we a little, just bend it? Uh, kind of. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna start bringing it down. Yeah. Because I think we're no, we're not past that steering rod yet. Well, if you push it like that, we are. It'll go easy. It's fine. You push it. Yep, 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 yep. Oh okay, that was too fast, sorry. It's fine. Yep, we're, we're about there. Let's just push it in a little bit more. We need to bring the, the tail up. So let's slide the jack under and just put it on the, it's at the other end of the car. And just put it on the end of the tail there and just jack it up just ever so slightly and that'll get us the, the clearance that we need on this end. Oh, you need me to move the drive shaft? Not like it's heavy. No problem. Allow me to move the drive shaft. Just throw it through the ceiling. Just throws it. Oh my god. Parker, here. 
Hold this. Thank you for your drive shaft. Have this drive shaft. Yay. It weighs nothing. Can I, can I hold this? That's a... Oh. One hand in it, see? Oh. Oh. Does the drive shaft drive? The drive shaft does drive. We're gonna put them over here. It drives. Okay, stop. This motor mount is lined up. That one, we're still crooked. What have I lost? What do you think I lost? Uh, the two bolts for the... Nope, what have I lost right now? Oh, what do I need? Yep. Yep, the handle. This one. This one? Yep, that one. Right there, see? <clears throat> the most often lost tool in this shop. How about you? You do the lowering. Very slowly. Oh my goodness. I don't do the pushing. Because you got it. Ready, sir? Ah, no, do it. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> We got, we got it. We're lined up. Do we want to send them in this way and put the nut on the back side? And that way if the nut falls, the bolt's still in place? I think that's probably a good idea. Gravity should keep the bolt in place for, you know, a th 12 seconds, maybe. Depending on how fast you're going. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm gonna push on it. Yeah, what is it? No idea. Stand on that. Just push, just push on it with your foot. Me? Yeah, you. Can you? I don't know if you'll be able to Here? get big yeah. blockers in there. Oh yeah, we gotta work on this. Sponsor me, idiot. <laughs> I wanna push on your foot. <clears throat> get in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a washer. Free washer. It just came out of there. Yeah, it. it was just sticking on the other side. There she went. Is that one going through? Mm hmm They're all in. Okay. All right, I'm gonna bring her down. Now, where's the handle? <laughs> right back where it's supposed to be. Because you did it, not me. See, that's why. And you're like, why am I doing this? And it's because you won't, you'll put the handle back in the right place. What? Houston, the eagle has landed. Oh, man. All right. Let's get this fucking train out of here. Uh, we're gonna do. Bye bye, Crane. This this trans mount's probably no good either. Now that I'm looking at it, I see. Ooh, wait! Before we do this, do I have a new one? Into the jungle, Celica stuff. I know, I know there is one. You gotta understand with all this stuff that I have. I've had it for over ten years, and when you have as much of this crap as I do. You end up digging for one thing and finding another thing and going, oh, that's where that thing's at. And then you lose it again. You don't know where it's at for a long time. But uh, Transmount is one of those things that's it's always turning up and you're like, what is that goofy thing? Oh, Transmount, that's what it is. It's, it's a piece of rubber that helps you mount your transmission. ARP wheel studs and it's a machete. We got motor mounts for other cars over there. We don't have a trans mount. I think we're going upstairs. Memory is not serving. This is all the stuff that I got when I got Dale. And there's some new, brand new badges and stuff in here too, but if it's stuff that came with Dale, probably not gonna be the stuff that I need. Oh, I can see, I can see the shape of the damn thing, but I don't, I just have no idea where it's at. I'm still taking this one off. Okay, well, we'll keep looking then. That means we still have time to look. There it is! And you weren't even looking! <laughs> Alright, well, that was a lot of trouble for that. Moving on. 14s. Mm -hmm. Toyota bolts. That's what we want. Okay. New mount. Here you go. <laughs> Please? <laughs> please, please go under car and do I don't get paid enough for this You really don't <laughs> really, But I'm too old to do this crap yeah, And I don't have my bibbies on Let's do some other stuff while he's down there Shall can we? we get the hooks off and stuff? Yep, we can get the hooks off Parker, get me a 14 millimeter wrench If he doesn't have them down there Oh, there he goes What's up? These bigger ones are not right. 
What else could be done up here? Everything, you know? Yeah. Alternator, carburetor, everything that ends in eater. I just, I kind of want to do this for test fitting purposes at the moment and then see if we can still actually get to those bolts when this is on, which we can. So we can still put another bolt up in there if we want to. This is a piece of the uh, transmission mount, which is clearly done in every way. But there's a metal collar in there that's keeping this bolt from coming out at all. And that bolt's all stripped and it just don't work. So we're going to use the old wheel of death. Speed. Pretty hard bolt, but you threw it. Okay, now. Hopefully they come up all the way through there. We're having a bit of a problem with that previously. They don't have a whole lot of extra thread, just enough to get up into the threads in the chassis. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Hi. Hello there, camera. Any day. There it goes. All right, go up a little bit. I'm loose here, and for free, bring it down. Easy. Ta-da! On the cross member. Okay. Down on the cross member. Looking real good. Got a Not at all bolted down, but yeah. Like you say. Oh my god. Look at it. It's up there. I can't see it, but you can. There's a motor in there. <gasps> Look at it. Yeah. You know that's gonna make Dale real happy. Man Dale. Not the car. Man. Obviously it makes the car happy. But uh yeah. Mr. Dale Vitz, he's gonna enjoy, he's gonna enjoy seeing this in there. It's not that, he, not that this was his dream motor or anything like that, you know, like he always wanted this car to have better things and he really did a lot to the 18RC that was in there, but the RG just, I mean, look at it. Look at it in there. Look at the stripes and the, we may have to go with a different color valve cover. Like the same orange stripes in here, so Ooh, I don't. Ooh, yeah, just on the, maybe just on there. Maybe yeah. just on that part. D Dale was saying the red valve cover he would think would look really good if we could get, you know, more of the closer to kind of the blood like orange yeah, on the edge, you know? Yeah. And then get that on the valve cover. And then, ooh, That's gold. Good. What if we did the gold, the stripes? On those. <laughs> on those, yeah. Woo. I mean, everything else is going to look filthy. <laughs> you know, so it fits the way it fits the way the rest of it looks right now. I like it. It looks sweaty. We'll get it running, and then we'll worry about making it pretty. We're gonna scrape this guy as good as we can. I probably need a flat razor blade more than likely. And you may feel it when you put it in there. You may feel like the lobe kind of feeling funky. So you got to kind of work that arm around just so. Maybe, or maybe it'll be perfect. Maybe it'll already kind of be in position. And we already had a filter somewhere. There it is. It's on the so, uh, it's good. won't be long now before we have, you know, fuel. <laughs> and now we got fuel to the pump. And uh, the hose will be different now. We got a return. Where's the return line? This him? That's the return. Don't mind this one, that one is just not doing anything. It's the clicky clacky. How do we get that clicky clacky out of there? Probably. We probably won't need all that hose that came off of it to go over the carb, because that one was originally meant to go all the way over the carb that was on the other side, but now our carburetors, they're going to be right here. Which I'd really like to put them on, because, you know, they look so cool. They look so cool, yeah. Yeah. Are they the Coonies? They, they are the original uh, uh, 40 millimeter Makunis that came on this motor from the factory. I have another piece of confusion about uh, what goes here. <laughs> hmm. I bet that's where the water neck goes. Oh, man. Look at that. With a gasket on it, even. <laughs> Somebody knew what they were doing, and it wasn't me. How well all these fittings will hold, I have no idea. I don't, I can't remember. I feel like I did some, some, some work myself with these fittings. I, I just don't know. Don't kind it down too far just yet. I know. We'll just let her kind of hang out there and we'll get it right there. All right, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do a little peeling. Right, you wanna peel one off? I'll peel the other one off. Yeah, yeah, you can get that yeah. one. Get oh boy, we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, you hear that sound? Yeah, the red pad. <laughs> look, look at the imprint on it, it looks oh, like yeah. a mask. 
Getting all professional over there. Well, you gotta have your carburetors packed with official Japanese, you know, uh, packing material. Well, here's the problem. You got two of them. Which one's which? Here you got your butterflies. You got your trumpet side. Yeah, you better put trumpets on. Yeah, well, we're gonna put an air cleaner on, I'm pretty sure. Trumpets underneath the air cleaner, but... Yeah, so we'll just need a gasket out of this gasket kit. And uh, some bolts, which I bet we can source those from the hardware kit. Go grab the hardware, the bolt kit, bring it over here to the top of the motor. Mm hmm. 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 Oh man, look at it! Oh, I love it already! I didn't put the gasket on. That's okay. I'm alright with taking it off again. Just look at it. Look at it! Would you look at it? Oh. The sweatiness of it all, it all is just so perfectly perfect for this engine bay. I don't want to repaint this engine bay, I want to save it, preserve it the way that it is, I feel. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to paint it. We've got a... Uh, uh, well, this... <laughs> guess I didn't get any threads so in there. What if all my heroes are the losing kind? We ended up with nothing, but we put up a fight. Never asked to choose. The rest of it was luck, and now we're out of that too. What are you willing to lose? Yeah, what are you willing to lose? Now, so, so far gone. In these losing fights, I'm a losing kind. Can't say it's right or wrong. Well, so. Uh, yeah, that's the guy. The what do all those things on the top do? I have no idea. Not, not, a, not a clue. Which way does it go? Again, no idea. This. What, what are all these hoses for, though? Where do they all go? No. And should we have put the this on first? What is that? Is that linkage of some kind? This. Yeah, this that flappy guy? thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but it has threads on it. I assume that it's just loose. Everything is loose. So this hose and that, it looks like there's supposed to be another hose here, and they would go directly down through. Feel, see those things right there? Mm -hmm. They go down through there. To what? What the hell does this thing do? You know, it's, it's called a balance bar, balance tube, to, to balance the air between the two carburetors. I get that much of it, but what are these hoses doing? Well, that's going to have to be a question to the good Reverend Charlie. And ask them why those exist. I think what we do is we just take the intake manifold off with the two carbs on it now that they're attached, and then we can we can work on that later. But I'm done for the day. I mean, we did it. We did something that we have to undo, of course, which is what we always do. Back here again at the RG, and you'll notice that the carburetors have once again made their way off of the car. They look so pretty on there, but they had to come off because we got to put this balance tube on there. And what does a balance tube do? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Honestly, I have no idea. But I do know... Uh, that it goes this way. That's one thing that I know. And uh, I talked to Charlie last night, and I know that that tube down there is supposed to go to a breather and be a PCV. You could fill a book with what I don't know about the HNRG, honestly. Uh, you could probably fill a book with what I don't know about just what all these things are. So here's what I found out. Slash remembered. This head... And pistons that I purchased to put with an 18RC block back in the day are from an 18RG EU, basically an emissions compliant 18RG, the later model. So it's down on power compared to the previous models. Originals had like 140 horsepower. This might have 130, maybe even 120. Um, but you know, we'll breathe some life back into it. The problem that this one has, the big problem that it has, is the emissions stuff. So the balance tube that's right here. You know, its purpose is to balance between the two carburetors, but there's a whole bunch of ports on this that went to different emissions stuff. Well, let me let me talk about all this stuff first. I have no idea. 
what it actually did. It went to charcoal canisters or, you know, they supplied vacuum to one thing or another. But we've got like a port there, a port here. These match, right? Big port, little port, big port, little port, right? So I just need hardware to fill uh, all of these holes because they're not going to go to anything anymore. And then this is for some sort of bracketry. And then that was another vacuum line. Could actually be for vacuum advance on the distributor. Uh, but we'll get to that. The only thing that matters on here that I've been told right now by the good Reverend Charlie, very dark, but down in here, you'll see a hose going down. And that hose is supposed to go down through, say, like that hole right back there. And then go down to this plate, which in the diagram, which I'll show, has a breather fitting on it for crankcase ventilation. We have to get that proper plate for an RG, 18RG, to be able to ventilate the crankcase and pull vacuum from the balance bar. But that's a big discovery that I don't have that plate. So I put some calls out, feelers out to folks to see who might have them. Um, Charlie doesn't have any that aren't already spoken for on a motor. Um, so we'll see if some other folk may have the parts available. Until then, I suppose that I will be moving on to other things. So, like I said earlier, there's plenty to do. Let's take a look. <sighs> Let's look for a distributor, because my guess is that that's going to be the next challenge uh, that I don't have or slash have several of and need to figure out which one is the right one. <sighs> Into the distributor toolbox we go. What will we find? No one knows. Um, nothing. Or distributors. So it turns out that none of the distributors that I have have the right ear on them in order to be able to be placed properly. The original distributor has an ear on it so it can be bolted down to that location and then um, advanced via other mechanisms other than rotating. So we'll have to... Oh no, the ear has a slot on it. That's right. The ear is slotted so it can slide back and forth on that stud. But we'll have to do that differently. And I believe that any 18R distributor can work in this scenario, but I <laughs> it's been a while since I since I looked at any of that, so uh, but it also has to the shaft might be a different length. So you've no doubt heard of fact-finding missions. It seems like today is a question-finding mission. Is the questions are, you know, what don't I know? The answer is everything. What do I know? Nothing. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> well, there's a big difference here. Look at the gear on that guy. What is this thing? This doesn't look like... This doesn't look like it goes in that car at all. It's missing an O-ring. What is this pile of junk? There's a part number. It's not anything I recognize. That says Bosch on it. You know, that's going to be from a rabbit. That's going to be from a Mark I. <laughs> that's, why, that's why the gear doesn't match at all. Okay, well, we, look, we can rule this one out, though. That's good. Let's rule it out and put it on the shelf of shame where all Volkswagen parts go. Is there another distributor in here somewhere? I feel like there is. I feel like I saw one yesterday. Yeah, look. What's that? What's that right there? Looks like a distributor. And what does it have on it? Well, it looks like it has a tab that goes uh, on the right spot. So this is the right distributor. So the whole box, the toolbox of distributors did not have the right distributor. Check the shaft size though. I think it's the same. Mm. Yeah, it's about the same as the others. So this, if I'm not mistaken, is 8R. I bought this at a garage sale where a guy had an RN15 Hilux, and he had this new in the bag. And I thought, why not? You know, one day, who knows, I might need that guy. And there it is. And then this is probably 18RC. Um, and then... There's still one on the old motor over there. 
So this is our RG distributor, RGEU, more than likely. Um, look, it has a TEQ on it and everything. It is not a Volkswagen part. So let's try to get that guy slid in there. You see the slot, the stud. Get it past this hose. Oh, man. Oh, like a glove. Unfortunately, the fuel hose fitting right there is kind in the way. We're not going to be able to get a, a hose on it, that's for sure. Sort out the fuel. Yeah. Then we can get the distributor in because we can't get the distributor in until that fuel thing is right. So I'm going to start making a list. I like my lists on the windshield, and that way uh, I have to erase them before I can drive the car. Oh, my God. Grease pencil didn't want to get going. Hardware. Crank. Case. Vent. Fuel. Uh, 90. We don't have a distributor problem that we know of yet, so that's good. And I guess that's it for the moment. So we'll go ahead and keep moving around the car and see what other problems we can uncover. All right, the next hunt is going to be for the water pump. Got a gasket. That's good. Let's go dig into the box of parts anyway and see what we turn up. And then we'll uncover another question to answer. I see some Dremel bits that don't belong in here. There's no water pump in here, so let's head to the back room. Here's our parts. That impeller. This impeller pulley and clutch. And then this whole housing. <sighs> what do I have here? I do not know. Well, the pulleys are the same. But I don't know what pulley I need for the RG. And then this obviously is a nice impeller without um, a fan clutch on it or a pulley. So it does need a pulley. <laughs> it does not need the fan clutch. Um, that's where the whole different set of pulleys comes in. There might be one from a Supra or something that needs to be purchased. It's time to start sorting all that out. I brought my pencil. Give me something to write on. That's it. Uh, we're going to write now a uh, water pump with a big old question mark. It's all one word, too. I don't know if you know that. Water pump. Okay, so we got carb, balance, hardware, crank, case, vent, fuel, 90 degree, and the water pump question. The alternator is an alternator. I have one. I'm going to put it on. Hopefully the pulley matches. And that'll be that. I don't think we have to question the alternator. But the exhaust manifold, I don't really have a question about it other than where is it? Ooh, what's that? Why, that's an exhaust manifold for an 18 RG. Oh, look at this. Look at all this crap. This is all the um, emission stuff for the 18 RG EU, minus that sway bar inlet. It's right there. That's all the emissions, the EVAP stuff for the 18 RG EU that we're not going to use at all. Let's just throw that aside. Yeah, but here's the exhaust manifold. There we go. Oh my God, it's so freaking heavy. Oh boy. That's your big boy right there. Cast iron. Heave. Heave him down upon the distributor. Well, I mean, I could hoist that sucker up over there and, you know, just make sure that it is what I think it is. It looks pretty. I know you wouldn't say that's pretty, but I, you know, it's sweaty as hell. And it, boy, if it doesn't match that, I don't know what does. So let's uh, stick it over there. Well... A thing of beauty it is not, but I kind of like it all the same. 
it might get a fresh coat of paint. It's very heavy. It has been repaired, I think, at some point in the past, and it's had this extra mm, flange welded on its flange. <laughs> they flange the flange, and uh, therefore this flanged nut won't fit. They flange the flange, now the flange won't fit. The downpipe, I don't have. Flange to make a downpipe, don't have it. This is going to be the exhaust for now. But as far as the engine running, I think we've gone around the horn today and talked about all of the mechanical things that run on the engine. The next thing to figure out is the MSD. It's a box. And another box. The blaster coil. Oh! Ugh. That's probably not good. So, uh... You know, that's a coil. What's in this box? Ooh! Oh, God. A lot of wires. Some sort of box. Mm, more wires. Plugs, and fittings, and isolator mounting bracket thingies. Oh! <laughs> Stickers. Yeah. There's definitely fluid in there. Is that a thing? Coils have water in them? Coils have, like, acid? Like a battery? You know what? I'm not going to question it. Seems like if it was a mistake, it could fry my whole electrical system, but I'm not going to question it. I wonder if you still use all the ballast resistors? Is that what they're called? That's a good question. Does all that still get hooked up when you use this new coil? I suppose it probably does, unless all that stuff is built into that box right there. Hmm... Uh, how do you know I know all these answers are available on forums and groups and etc but I have a lot of questions all at once and maybe I just ask them here here this is it this is my question session so you the knowledgeable 18RG community out there in the world give me answers in the comments please uh, let me know what you know that I don't know. You heard me. I, d I don't know so much about this. Um, we can go over the list one more time. The carb balance bar thingy. Can I plug all those holes on the balance bar? I, I hope I can. That's what I want to do. I want to plug all those holes and uh, then just have the one crankcase ventilator, which is the next question, crankcase ventilation. Is that an original part that I have to source from somebody who may have one, or can I do something else to get crankcase ventilation? Um, the fuel 90 degree, I don't need your help with that. Thank you, though, if you have any pointers. I'd love to do AN lines. That's a thing. That's a two-letter abbreviation that I know exists and that they're better than normal rubber lines. I'd love, but I'm not going to do that right now. Oh, uh, the water pump situation. What do I need? What do I have? Could you tell by looking at them what I have? Because I can't. Um, I'll come back with some answers in the comments, too, if I find them out. But if you've got them, please, you know, uh, pump it in here. What we want to end up with is a water pump that properly cools an 18RG that does not require a fan clutch, and we will run an electric fan. Not actually essential to get this thing running, though, by the way. So I can move it to the bottom of the list, and we could talk about MSD. How do? Does it replace all that stuff that's sitting on top of the coil right now, or does all that stuff stay? And then we just have the hotter coil and the MSD. So those are things I don't know that I need to know. So I'll make a video. I'll ask y'all. Y'all answer down in the comments. Point me to whatever links you think I need to know. If you can't post links on YouTube for whatever reason, come check out our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com uh, slash OIO racing. That'd be awesome. Let's get, let's get this thing running, you know, here in the next couple of weeks. Um, next video, I'll be taking all your answers. I'll give you credit where credit is due. Because I don't know crap. We've d discussed that over and over again. But I'll give you credit uh, for helping me out with answers. If you got parts that could help me out, let me know. I pay cash or PayPal or, you know, whatever. Um, and we'll get those parts that I need that you know that I need that I don't know that I need. Right? And if you got parts that you manufacture that you want to get to me at a discounted or a free rate because you want to see them go in this build and you want me to talk about them, then you, hey, you know, you let me know. Because I... I'm down with that.